Welcome to America Trends. I'm your host, Mary Burt Godwin. We are coming to you from Loft 100 Studios in Carlsbad, California, here at Sully Entertainment Group, right on Biz TV. We've got a great show for you. We've got all sorts of amazing tips and tricks for you, and we're also is celebrating the right word. I don't think it is. Bianca's last week here at the studio. It's very sad. Our producer Bianca is leaving us to go fly off to, to Spain and live in Barcelona and have a great life. We will miss her terribly. But first, we're going to get to our top trending topic of the day, which is a very um, emotional topic and it very much ties into um, Mental Health Awareness Month that we've been talking about so far. Gosh, almost every episode this month. Um, I woke up to the news that the, I'm going to say OG, the original queen of mom bloggers, some people call her queen of mommy bloggers. Her name was Heather Armstrong and her blog was Deuce. She started in 2001 and she um, committed suicide yesterday or the other day earlier this week. Um, and she was 47 years old and I knew, I never met her personally, but I knew of her very, very well because as I've touted on the show, I was an OG blogger influencer back in the day. I was one of the quote unquote mommy bloggers, went to blog her every year, which was a big blogger festival, was always online blogging and communicating with bloggers. And Heather, well, we all called her Deuce. She was this up here kind of figure that everyone hoped and inspired to be. She started mom blogging. She started the whole thing back in 2001. She blogged about, um, actually she was blogging about her job and how much she disliked her job. And she also blogged about motherhood and how hard it was, but her bosses found her blog and fired her. And it kind of kicked up her blog because it was like, oh my gosh, that's crazy. And she was such a good writer. Um, and she really was vulnerable and wrote from her heart and wrote, she was kind of crass and very honest and um, went through a lot of stuff and, and put it all out there. And she inspired a whole slew of bloggers, mommy bloggers, as we were called. And my whole feed currently, if you go onto my Facebook or my Instagram feed is every single person that, I mean, I know hundreds of bloggers from those days and everyone is very moved by this. And um, she apparently was, uh, she had been blogging and then she divorced her husband, um, stopped blogging for a while, started again. And she started to talk very openly on her blog about mental health, suicide ideation, suicidal ideations that she was having, and also alcoholism, problems with alcohol. She apparently got sober, or she was trying to, before that, she was trying to deal with her um, suicidal ideations through medically induced comas. She would go on the Today Show and talk about it. She was talk about. She was on Oprah. I mean, everybody talked about this gal. She was all over the place. Everyone wanted to be her. I mean, it's just one of those things that we all aspired to be, Heather. Um, and apparently, she got sober 18 to 20 months ago and uh, relapsed recently. And her last blog post that you can read is is really heartbreaking especially, you know, as a woman, a working mom, someone who has struggled with alcoholism and uh, issues, um, being a working single mom, uh, you know, it's not easy out there for us sometimes. And I wish that she had found her tribe of people that could have helped her through this, but I just, you know, it's just not easy. It's not an easy thing. And she was at 18 months of sobriety, which I can tell you right now is one of the hardest times of my entire life was at 18 months of sobriety. It's extraordinarily hard. Um, so I wish that she had gotten it. Um, she has a book out. One of her books is called The Valedictorian of Being Dead. So I am sure that that is going to have a resurgence in sales right now as people kind of try to make sense of this loss. Um, and my heart goes out. She has two kids. My heart goes out to her, those two and her, um, boyfriend, her partner that she was with. Um, and I want to tell everyone at home, if you are struggling, I hope that you go to dial 988 is a, is a crisis hotline that you can call or go to 988lifeline.org is a place to get help. There are people out there that would help you and be there to answer the call. Um, and we'll be right back with more America trends right after this break. <music> 